Good day, boys and girls. Uh, today I will be talking about my new team. With some technology, I have. Oh my god, I said technology. Very casually, I'm afraid right now. <sighs> and delirious, because I have just came from another 12 hour shift from work. Two more to go. Three down, two more to go. But today I will be speaking a little bit on some strategies that I have discovered with Sagat and Jin. Now this isn't going to be like a tutorial kind of vid like I did with Julia, but more like a um, very strong practical techniques that I've discovered that I'll, 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 I'll be explaining as I'm... Uh, oh man, I'm sleepy. I am drunk. As I am going through them. And I actually have no no lesson plan at all. I'm just kind of winging it. Who do I want to beat up? Who is a stupid character in this game? Yep, Ryu's pretty stupid. Uh, I don't know if he's pretty stupid. Ooh, I, mean, I think Embice is pretty stupid too. But I do enjoy this game. It's pretty good. I think people, as the game develops and turns into what it should look like, people will see that it, see it for a really uh, intensive decision making, like really pressing decisions that you have to make during the game. But, um, for starters, and one of the reasons I started, I picked up Sagai, was a friend of mine. Uh, he was having some difficulty, so I was just kind of seeing what he could and could not do. Um, one thing I, uh, just like Street Fighter Force the guy, you kind of have to make some kind of, like a baseline, this is what I'm going to do with him, throw firewalls, tiger uppercut, yada yada. But given that, you want to, you want to also play to the system of the game, and this game, meter, is, a, is is much more important than it was in Street Fighter 4. I mean, it was, it was pretty important, like if you had two bars and you're playing Street Fighter 4, and Sagat, two bars, have an ultra, you know where this is going. But in this game... You earn that meter through, um, you know, getting hit, hitting them, whiffing normals, throwing fireballs. That all builds a meter, which in turn helps you develop your, allows you to execute your game plan that you, that you have available. Which is, you know, tiger uppercut, uh, tag tag your partner in. If it hits, you get a combo. If it doesn't, then you can safely tag out Sagat, and if you need to, then yada yada. And, and you would want to do that for for a couple of reasons. You would want to do that to, re to recover Sagat's life, and you'd also want to, you know, bring in Jin or your partner. And uh, words, I, I had it just now. Uh, you want to do damage. No, that's not what I want to say. You want it to make a sound decision because you, you, ideally you want it to hit. So you want to do it at a time where you think you do, you don't just want to do it because one, it'll be obvious, and the other person. I mean, this game hasn't developed extremely to the point yet, but to the point where people can maximum, maximally <laughs> punish you for DP. So you have to do it intelligently. That's what that's that's most important. But back to building meter. Uh, Sagat, when you whip front house, builds meter, and that's that to me means a, a whole lot. That is a big deal. I mean, obviously you're not going to win a match by doing this because you're not hitting them. But what it lets you, what it allows you to do is sort of set a pace, set a visual cue for your opponent, and it it allows like me as a player to like really have fun with Sagat as a zoning character because I can I can just constantly hit buttons. Like just look at my meter go when I'm doing something simple as just throwing fireball. And see the, the meter goes up when I throw a fireball, and it goes up when I hit him. So. When I throw a fireball, whiff a roundhouse, or well not whiff it, but a uh, fake roundhouse, I get metered three times. And that's not something that I, I, I have to commit to doing. I can just do this, whiff a roundhouse, and then just dash up and see if he jumps at me or... But it allows me to always, uh, like, like if there is a graph, it allows me to always build my character as the round is progressing. Because in this game, you don't have... Um, you don't have a lot of time available to you to really just 
to not. I mean, you want to make you, you want to make the most efficient use of the time that you have, because that's that's some of the reasons why I, I believe that we're seeing a lot of time time overs. And I do think time overs are a legitimate part of the game. They're just not happening for the right reasons yet. And like stuff like this, this little sorts of um, I don't want to say tidbits. Like I'm I'm really trying hard not to say tidbits of information right now. But this sort of tidbits of information will. Um, have those timeouts happen for the right reasons. So it's that's that's why I go back to this being a, a really intense uh, decision based like a lot of things are gonna be going on I think in this game eventually. But yeah. With standing around house with the guy is really good. Also um EX Tiger Knee is very, very good. Like that that, that move if he didn't cost meter it would be hands down broken. Just the fact that it's an EX move um, alone, which because EX moves you can cancel off the chain, and that's that's a chain I use a lot in like a lot just because for one, going back to just EX Tiger Knee in general, um, it's plus one on block. So no matter what happens, that's gonna help. That's that's gonna be a good situation for me. I can just I can just do that. I, I can just <laughs> if this stand is short hits, then I can just go ahead and do it when I have meter. Because one thing it, it pushes you to the uh, it pushes you like further away. So if I'm in the corner or if I want you to the corner, it's gonna do that no matter what. Unless they alpha counter you, and that's pretty. Like, if you want to alpha counter that, sure. But the point is that if it hits you, it does a lot. You get a lot from it as well because uh, navigate the menu, cross grade infinite. If it hits you then you get a really good amount of damage. 340 just just for this hitting, which is good on block anyways. Wow, I, didn't, I wasn't even looking at the screen. But, and, and one thing I've been leaning more towards too is just not even tagging in. I just let it rock. And, and that depends on how much recoverable life I have. Like maybe it depends on how much of a lead I have. I might just want to sit on the meter I have and not go in the gym because I'm comfortable with the time that I have to to sort of just play out the match with Sagat because I'm comfortable with just playing Sagat on point and just um, the damage that it does is good it's, it's fine with me it's, it's, uh, wow I am going way too deep into that um what else his um stand short is really good uh the chains such as this are really good to hit confirm to I would recommend always doing low strong but low strong is not safe. Fun fact: if you do this chain, it's not safe. I know for sure you can punish it with like a three frame normal, maybe even a four frame. But I know for sure a three frame. So if that's blocked, not good. Ideally, and to be quite honest, I haven't even played this team offline yet, so it's it's kind of it's kind of a generic way of hit confirming. Because obviously, if you're playing online, you you, you don't have as much time because it, it lags. Like oh, it's always gonna lag no matter what. So I think ideally I would want to hit confirm just off a of standing short because it's twice, but it just gives me much more time if I'm going into a low strong. But uh, again, going back to the EX Tiger Knee, I, I can just do this regardless. I don't necessarily have to commit to it. Ideally, I do want to, but like I, I can just do it. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I've, uh, Tor Roundhouse is still really good. It whiffs on crouching opponents. Um, it's even on block zero, and it, it's it's just as good as it was in the Street Fighter Four. And honestly, I think it's, it's hmm. I, I do hesitate to say better, but it's still really good for the stupid amounts of damage it does if it hits them in the air. And also counter hitting um, or trade DP is is ugh, it's disgusting in this game. And admittingly, it was kind of frustrating to like get used to the timing of anti-airing in this for Sagat in this game because I, I would just straight up not even trade it. I would do a, I would do a DP motion and then lose, and I'd be like, "Are you serious? This is Sagat." <laughs> but I, I think there's just a timing to it. It's different and it's meant to trade, so it does lots of damage, and it's just a matter of getting used to the time. What was I doing? I completely forgot. Whatever. Jin! 
Now, this is one thing that I don't think I've seen anybody do yet with Jin, and that is incorporate this in combos for two separate reasons. One, because it builds meter, and the other is for the end of this combo that I'm hopefully about to do is it adjusts the juggle uh, height, not the height, but it allows you to hit, I forget what it's called, it allows you to hit that so all of them hit, so that they can fall and that you're actually hitting them with all of the all, all of the punches. Because if you do it regular, not all of the punches will hit. And sometimes, like in that situation, it usually hit more than that, but like one punch will miss. But if you buffer this first, I forget the name of it, but the absorption, you can... Oh shoot, I, 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 that's gonna happen. It's basically gonna look like that. And that'll allow you to get all the hits because it lets them fall further down. So you get this combo right here. And then that's the point where oh, uh, you can add that in between and you'll get more meter for it. Not that. But see how I did I I, I got the I got the uh, uh special move in. And that gave me a little more meter. So why not? And basically you can hit convert off a little strong or some people do like two low jabs. And combo that did <laughs> combo. But yeah, that, that works. Uh, let me see if I can do that. What I'm talking about. Uh what am I looking for? Take off me. Okay, I'm good. Cause I just wanted to show how much meter it does that it does give me meter. It went up three times. I'm gonna get it. Hopefully, I don't waste time. Oh, buddy, I'm gonna get it. Uh oh, waste What a top player. Yeah! All of them hit. <laughs> and and, and I, I need to practice that more, and once I do, I will be doing that probably 100% of the time. Because it, it, does, it just does more damage, it gives me more meter. And if I can do it consistently, then it's I should be doing it. It's it's ideal. And, I, and the more videos I do, the more you'll hear me say ideal, ideal, ideal. Because that sets what you want in fighting. You want to you maximize your damage and... I mean that's all I'll say about that for now. But you want you want maximum uh, efficiency. Um, let's see. Oh, another Milder, Milder, Milder. That's how tired I am. I said I put meter and building in one word. Another Milder you can do is with Jin. Is a uh, misstep actually builds meter, and you can backdash from misstep. So if you are in a good position to sort of just not even attack and just back up like say it's the end of the round this is just one example say it's the end of the round you have like six seven seconds left the other person can't win basically you had one of those situations and you're like well I want to run away and build meter at the same time so you can do this there we go and see my meter is going up and I'm kind of I'm doing this really lazily like I am fuck. Excuse me. I am friggin' tired. <laughs> I'm getting effed in the A at work. But yeah, my meter is going up, and you can't really catch up to me. And if it's a guaranteed comeback, then that's that's uh, considerable. And the way I'm doing that with a stick is I'm basically doing uh, half circle forward, going back, half circle forward, going back, half circle forward, and just kind of kind of doing circles with the stick, just straight up. Um, another, another thing you can, uh, another more offensive thing that you can do is, um, wow, does that not move? Oh, okay. That's weird. But, since you can cancel this move with special moves, into misstep, or, that's one thing I like to do is, 
because this also gives me meter and allow it allows me to charge it up. I mean, as as most gym players know, the uh, penetrating fist projectile is not very fast. So people people in this game, since <laughs> since jumping is really strong in this game, people like to do it a lot. I'll just say that much. But since you're doing this and they're you know cleverly because they saw you charging it up, they were jumping at you because they saw that. What you what you can do is you can just not do it, and that 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 that'll make people jump, and that's that's where that comes into play. And, and that that's obviously a, a great anti air that gives you a lot of damage damage on the ground, which um the standard combo would be 348 for jumping. So if I'm doing this, oh he jumped, boop boop. Well he's too far away, and. And just as like a little side note for so for situations like those, if if they're too far away for the standard combo to hit, you too low strong and it's <laughs> maybe you can't even sleep if they're that far away. But if you're unsure, I always do sleep. Or actually, if they were as far as away as, as that other film that we just straight up sweep them. Um, I feel like there's one more thing. Oh, this is a really good. Uh, this will be the last thing for now because I don't want to make this too long. But, um, say, say, okay, this is good for a couple situations. If you want to get Jin out, um, guaranteed, unless they have, uh, unless they have, if they have one meter, they can alpha counter. If they have two meters, they can punish you. But, that aside, um, uh, I forget what that's called, but... <laughs> I'm laughing because I am terrible right now. Uh, okay, you get this, you can tag a Sagat, and you can charge up to an EX Tiger Knee, which I explained earlier is plus one on block, so that's just, that's just, it's gonna give you advantage and it's gonna give you chip. So check this out. If they block it, because you can also use this to basically chip away at your opponent. opponent. If, <laughs> if they have no meter and they have, like, say, this much life, and you have. Three meters, you can pretty much kill them because there's not much they can do with this series. And then you can DP and then do it again. Well, you get the idea. And um, if it hits, if it does hit them. And this is actually one of the most damaging combos I've found using this. But if it does hit them... <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> None. If it does hit them, then you can go into... Toward Roundhouse. And I, I whiff I, I the uh, Standing Roundhouse before I do that. Because it gives me the timing for the Standing Roundhouse. And it also builds a little bit of meter. And this concludes... <laughs> My, uh, another segment of Tired and Worn Out, me. Um, uh, I will be, hopefully, starting the podcast back up next week. I won't be working like a dog, hopefully. I mean, I, I could have been doing it, but I just wanted to just time off, as you say. But yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, uh... Later.